Hi everyone, welcome to Javatiki. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to dockerize an Angular application. So in simple word, dockerize means create a docker image of an application, isn't it? So the process to create docker image is similar for all the language. Only we need to do some modification on docker file. So whenever we are dockerizing any application, first we need to write one docker file. So that docker file can vary based on the language. So let's say I am writing for Java application, then the element of docker file can be different. If I am writing for Angular application, then element for the docker file can be different. Okay. So let's quickly create one Angular application, then we will dockerize that application. So let's get started. Let's go to the root directory, then from the terminal, we'll create one Angular application. Okay, so I'll go to the root directory, then I'll create a Angular project. We know the command how to generate an Angular project. So I'll give the project name docker, or I can specify ng docker example. Okay, then click enter. It will take a couple of minutes to create one Angular project. So it is asking do you want to use routing so as of now we don't want to use it we want to use CSS so finally our angular project created successfully now let me open that folder so we created ng docker example select this folder fine then go to this src and let's do some change so i'll go to this app component.ts then i'll do some change in this title section we'll write docker writes an angular application now go to this app component.html so I'll remove this I just want to print the text okay apart from that let me remove these things save these two file so what we can do now let's run the ng build to generate all the compiled file so I'll go to the terminal So I'll type here ng, then build, then double hyphen prod. Okay. So once I will run this command, all the compiled file will be generated inside one more folder. It's called dist. So Angular will generate one more folder called dist. Inside that, it will add all the compiled file. Okay. So let me run this. So you can see here ng build is success. Now it created one more folder called dist here. Okay. So if you go inside this folder, you can find all the compiled file here. Okay. So what we can do here, we can create a Docker file. Okay. So go to this root directory, then click on this file and type here Docker file. So this D should be capital. Whatever the language you are using, the signature of creating Docker file is same click on enter so this docker file is placed inside this dist folder i just need to get it outside src so i can place it here move it yeah now in docker file we need to specify two things from and copy so just add it in from we are telling to docker docker just download this nginx and this version 1.17.1 alpha in version then copy all the compiled file from this dist folder and place it inside this docker container 
okay then we can build a docker image so you can add few more element but this will be the easy or minimal step to create a docker image fine now we can type a command docker build then hyphen so better let me clear it first so build a docker image we know the command docker build hyphen target then you can give your image name so i'll give ng docker hyphen example dot but before create this docker image make sure you should up your docker terminal okay now click enter it will take couple of second to create a docker image because it will download this nginx server then it will copy all the compiled file from the application and it will put in this docker container Yeah, so it completed all the step. Step one from it downloaded this nginx server, then it executed the step two. It copy all the compiled file and placed in Docker container. Now, if you go to your Docker terminal, if you type Docker images, you could see your Docker image. This is what we created just now, right? ng Docker example. if you see this log you can find your 21 second ago right now we can run this docker image or ng docker example image in docker container so we know the command how to run docker image right so let's type the command docker then run specify the port i'll specify 80 which will be my docker container port and i can specify the local port also 80 even you can give any number okay then give your docker image ng docker example now run it now just go to your browser type here local host then give the port 80 if it will not work with the local host what you can do just go to your docker terminal copy this ip instead of local host we can place this ip okay we can see the message right dockerize an angular application we didn't run this angular application in our local server if you observe here i didn't run the ng serve open command i just ran it on docker container that's why we can able to access on the port 80 along with docker ip uh, docker ip instead of docker uh, our local host okay so this is how we can dockerize an angular application yeah that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept